Welcome back. Fact is, of course, stranger than fiction, and that's very much a case with this story. It's the true tale of espionage, a love affair and murder that wouldn't be out of place in the movies. The year was 1948. Communism and democracy were wrestling for world supremacy. A nuclear arms race was in high gear and there were spies everywhere, even in Australia. Against this sinister backdrop, an unidentified body is found on Adelaide's Summerton Beach, the so-called Summerton Man. Now, 65 years after he was buried, the removes to exhume him in an attempt to finally solve this lingering Cold War mystery. In Adelaide's West Terrace Cemetery, Kate Thompson is returning to the site of a 65-year-old family secret. Here lies the man at the centre of Australia's strangest Cold War mystery. A mystery to which Kate believes her late mother holds the key. She said to me she knew who he was, but she wasn't going to, to let that out of the bag, so to speak. You pretty much do accept that uh, she was a spy. I think so, yes. She had a dark side, and a very strong dark side. Found dead on a lonely stretch of Adelaide's Summerton Beach at dawn on the 1st of December, 1948, then as now, he'd be known as the Summerton Man. His identity, how he died, and how he lived, a national riddle never solved. But tonight, answers are finally within reach. It's about finding who the Summerton Man really is. For the first time, the mystery woman identified. Did she lie to the police? Yes, she did. The Summerton love child. Summerton man is potentially my grandfather. And a family divided. I think it's disrespectful to my brother. I'd rather know the truth than not know. The scene, the early chapters of the Cold War. British nuclear testing, South Australia is becoming crucial to the frightening global arms race. Round fired at 1039. There was plenty going on in the There was plenty going, going on in the world. Um, America had nuclear weapons. Australia and England were testing nuclear weapons. Russia certainly had or just had that. South Australian Major Crime Squad Detective Senior Sergeant Jerry Felters has been working on the mystery since it landed as a cold case on his desk in 1975. You're telling me that all the records would be lost now? Oh, they'd be destroyed. And Jerry says you can't begin to unravel the mystery of Summerton Man, a suspected Soviet spy, without first understanding the clandestine atmosphere of the Cold War. There were spies everywhere, spy on spy, everywhere. And Russia certainly had a very good spy network. So it's in this climate that a young Jessica Thompson, nurse, communist sympathiser and single mum, was raising her son Robin in Somerton, South Australia. They lived a stone's throw from the beach where the mysterious body was found on that first morning of summer, 1948. This is my mother. Were she alive today, would she have given me an interview? No. No. So you're as close as I get to this? Absolutely. And she'd probably be a bit miffed. Jessica would eventually marry Kate's dad, Prosper Thompson, and together they'd have Kate. They would become a typical post-war nuclear family in an ominous atomic age. 
and there was home life and there was outside life but I grew up very much that there's a barrier between the two and the two you don't integrate. Today Kate remembers a mother who was loving but secretive. So secretive she now believes her mother was a Soviet spy. She certainly um, said once she was teaching English um, to newly arrived migrants and at the time there'd been a small group coming from Russia into Australia and as she said to me, oh, I was surprised that I could still quite understand Russian. So, she dropped that bombshell. Yeah, so when did you learn Russian? Well, that's for me to know. <laughs> but if Kate's mum was secretive with her own family, she was evasive with investigators when they linked her to Summerton Man, seven months after his body was found. Police thought they had a major breakthrough, but Jessica denied any knowledge of the man. Did she lie to the police? Yes, she did. She told the police that she didn't know who he was, and certainly I know nothing. And yet she told you that she, she did. did. And she told me that it was a mystery that was only known to a level higher than the police force. She means what, that some spook somewhere would yeah, know. Yeah, but she said it wasn't at a state police level. That lie effectively stopped investigators in their tracks. The trail was dead, the case was cold, till now. We don't know much about the unknown man, obviously enough, but thanks to police records, we do know quite a bit about his last day of life. On the 30th of November 1948, he came here to the Adelaide Railway Station. It's 11 in the morning, 65 years ago. Summerton man had arrived in town on an overnight train earlier that morning. He bought a one-way ticket to Henley Beach, the closest station to Jessica's house, but never caught the train. Instead, he stored his suitcase at the station and crossed the road to catch a bus. A little later that afternoon, our unknown man is reported here in Mosley Street near the beach. He's seen knocking on the door of the house where Jessica lives, but apparently she's not home and he leaves the house in the direction of Summerton Beach. He now doesn't have much longer to live. Back then, were there a lot of people around? Yeah, it, it was because people could come direct to the beach by coming through yeah. this way. Whatever happened in the next 12 hours remains a mystery. But what's certain is that shortly after sunrise on the 1st of December 1948, the body was discovered on Summerton Beach. His wallet was missing. The labels had been removed from his clothing. Summerton Man had been stripped of any clues to his identity. And this is where he met his end. About right here. And to take your secrets with you. And take your secrets with you. One of the few, albeit bizarre, clues found on Summerton Man was a piece of paper with the words Tam and Shud. It means the end. It was ripped from a book of 11th century Persian love poetry called the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. The book was found in a car and had Jessica's unlisted phone number in it. And we can assume that she gave him the Rubaiyat. Well, that's uh, about all you could deduce from the information available. A spy's code book? A love token or both. A lifetime of small suspicions finally led Kate to conclude that her mum, the spy, was certainly having an affair with Summerton Man, most likely himself a spy, and may well have had a hand in his death. There's always that fear that I've thought 
maybe she was responsible for his death. I don't, do I want to know that? That's a hard thing for you to carry with you, that you... There's a little bit, might yeah. have bumped somebody off. Yeah. A post-mortem found that he'd been poisoned, but of course, forensic experts back then had none of the tools available today. Getting the DNA of the Summerton man, uh, if we examine his bones, we can do a bone isotope test and find out where he was born. And there's a whole host of tests one can do. Professor Derek Abbott, a physicist at the University of Adelaide, is determined to solve this rattling good mystery. These buildings were definitely here in 48, and he would have walked, probably walked past here. He wants to exhume the body of Summerton Man in the hope that science might finally solve the riddle. For me, it's about finding who the Summerton Man really is. The problem is, if we leave the Summerton Man any longer, if we, we let him go by another 10 years, we could lose some of the non-chromosomal information in the DNA, which we really need to link to close relatives. It may be confronting, it may not be pleasant, but I'd rather find out the truth and, and deal with it and move on and, and have closure. Rachel Egan and her mother Roma are on the other side of the family tree and may hold the crucial piece of the Summerton Man puzzle. Roma was married to Robin, the son of Jessica Thompson, and she believes fathered by Summerton Man, making him the grandfather of her daughter, Rachel. But do you want to know that you might have come from a Russian spy? I thought about that, or, or something, you know, there could be something more sinister than that. And I think, for me, I'd rather know the truth than not know. OK, there we have Robin Thompson's physique. Their the conviction moment. is bolstered by the science of Professor Abbott. He's observed that Robin Thompson shared two rare genetic traits with the Summerton man. They both had the same extremely rare ear and dental abnormalities. On the left photo, you see the Summerton man's ear and the top hollow is very large. Again, For Robin Professor Thompson. Abbott, this alone is confirmation that the two are related, but he wants to exhume the body to solve the mystery once and for all. And on this, the family is divided. I think it's disrespectful to my brother. He's not alive and he's not alive to say, oh, this is my story and I want to pursue it. Don't you want to know for sure? No, it doesn't matter to me. It does not matter to me who Robin's, where there is a genetic link. Oh, I'm a sticky bee. Don't we all own this story? Um, it's a great no, Australian story. I think, I think it's a big thing to um, exhume a body. And I think it's macabre. And I think it's got a kind of um, curiosity. That's a macabre curiosity about it. Why do you think Kate says, Leave him in the ground. Don't disturb everything. Stop meddling in our family affairs. Well, I can appreciate where she's coming from because if you, you think that your brother is your full brother, then there's an emotional attachment to that. So I can appreciate that. But then in the end, she's not related to the Summerton man. So in fact, this young lady has more of a call than anyone else. Yes, she has. Do you feel that? This is your business. People tell you, get out of it, it's our business, but it's actually your business. You're the one. Pretty much. That, because the unidentified man, Summerton man, is potentially my grandfather. So that, to me, is, is um, very important. Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au as well as the 9now app.